In this example, we're given that triangle MNP is similar to triangle RST. We're also given that MN has side length 5 centimeters, NP is side length 10 centimeters, RS is 4 centimeters, and RT is 6 centimeters. We're asked to find the unknown sides. First thing that you'll want to do is sketch two similar triangles and fill in the values that we know and label the vertices accordingly. So we have our first triangle here which is MNP and we know that MN, this side here is 5 centimeters and NP, this side here, is 10 centimeters. We don't know the third side. And another similar triangle here. We know that it should be a smaller triangle, just taking a look at the dimensions and we can label that triangle with the vertices RST and now we'll put in the side lengths that we know. We know that RS is 4 centimeters and we know that RT is 6 centimeters. We know that the property of similar triangles is that the corresponding sides are in proportion and we are given in this question that triangle MNP is similar to triangle RST. So we can set up the following proportion. Side MN compared to side RS, that ratio should be equal to the value if we compare NP to ST, which should be equal in value to when we compare MP to RT. Now we need to sub in the values that we know in this question. So we know that MN, side MN, is 5 centimeters, so we've subbed that in. And side RS was given as 4 centimeters. And for our second ratio, NP was given as 10 centimeters. And side ST is unknown. This side here is unknown. But rather than leaving it as being labeled as side ST, we know that it's going to be labeled as lowercase r because it's across from angle r. And lastly our final ratio has mp which again is an unknown but it's across from angle n so we'll call it lowercase n and its ratio in the corresponding triangle is rt we're going to compare it to the 6 centimeters for that side. So now we're going to solve the proportions for the unknown sides. And to solve for letter R, we'll take this section of the proportion, which has 5 over 4 equal to 10 over R. We need to cross multiply to try and get R all by itself and to solve this proportion. Multiplying 5 times the R gives us 5R and 4 times the 10 gives us 40. We need to divide both sides by 5, giving you 40 divided by 5 on the right hand side or the value of 8 centimeters. Doing something similar to solve for n, we'll keep this ratio because we know that for sure and this section here which is the one that we need to solve for, or involves a letter that we need to solve for. So we have 5 over 4 equal to n over 6, that section of our proportion. We'll cross multiply again, giving you 4 times n is 4n, 5 times 6 giving you 30, and now we have an equation that we can solve. To get the n all by itself, we need to divide both sides by 4, and when you divide 30 by 4, you get an n value of 7.5 centimeters. So therefore, side R, which we know as being ST in our diagram, is going to be 8 centimeters long. And side N, which was MP in our original diagram, is going to be 7.5 centimeters long because triangle MNP was similar to triangle RST.